This video was sponsored by Brilliant. Alright, if you saw the end of the last video where I introduced this problem, skip to this timestamp. For everyone else, here we go. Let's say we have a finite set of points in a plane, I'll work with 5 right now, such that the greatest distance between any two points is 1. So there are no points further than 1 away, but there can be, and there are in this case, more pairs that are also a distance of 1 away. Like these two, and these two. All a distance of 1 away from each other. So that's a total of three pairs that have that max distance. So writing this out again, the total number of points is five, and the number of pairs that are a max distance away is three, which, just so you know, is less than or equal to five. We need to prove that this inequality always holds. For any number of points in a plane n, the number of pairs with that max distance m is always less. As with the last video, this is also a Putnam exam question from 1957, which you can see here. So as n gets larger, this gets tougher to think about. If there are 10 points, you already have 45 possible pairs that exist. But we must show that, assuming the max distance is 1, no more than 10 of those 45 pairs can have that max distance. All right, let's get to the solution. The first thing to mention that will show up later is the fact that for any finite set of points, if you have two of those max distance line segments whose endpoints are all different, then those line segments must cross. Because if they didn't, if you said, oh, both of these pairs are a max distance of one away, let's say, then, well, it's just like we saw in the last video. We can make a quadrilateral where the diagonals must be greater in length contradicting the fact that the originals were maximum distance pairs. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now for three points, our statement is trivially true. With three points, there are only one, two, three possible pairs that even exist. So if the max distance is one, obviously at most three pairs can have that max distance. Now, for anything greater than 3, the number of possible pairs is always greater than n, so the answer isn't trivial. So what we're going to do is assume that our statement actually is not true, that there's some first integer n greater than 3 where we find a counterexample. Like, let's say it's with n equals 5 points, as we see here. Here are 5 points, and let's assume there are 6 pairs that are all a distance of 1 away. So assume these six blue line segments, highlighting these six pairs, all have a length of one, and no other two points are further than one away from each other. Obviously, this is not true. I mean, look how not to scale this is. But our goal is to reach a contradiction with this and prove this is impossible to make no matter how we arrange the points. Remember, we're assuming this is the first value of n for which this counterexample exists. Now, I won't prove this, but notice how this point is part of three maximum pairs. That will always happen when you have more pairs than points. Like we have six pairs here, five points in total. One point will be a part of three or more of those pairs. So what I'm going to do is ignore the other pairs and just focus on these three, in which I'll label the associated endpoints A, B, C, and X. Now of all the angles here, that are less than 180 degrees, AXC is the greatest, well according to our drawing. But the important thing to note is it must be less than or equal to 60 degrees. The reason for that is because of this distance here. If the angle were greater than 60, then this length would be greater than 1, because of this triangle having two side lengths of 1 guaranteed. And that's a contradiction, as we said the max distance between any two points must be 1. So AXC is less than or equal to 60 degrees, which means the line XB is in between the other two, XA and XC. I know from looking, it's obvious it's in between, but what we just proved is that the line segments can't all be like 120 degrees apart from one another, or anything like that, where in betweenness becomes less obvious in meaning. So now we know, for any counterexample, there's always going to be that point that's part of three pairs, we know the greatest angle made by the line segments will be 60 degrees or less, and therefore there must be one line segment, quote, in between the outer two. 
All right, promise we're almost there because now it's more apparent that there is no other point besides x that can pair with point b where the distance between them is 1. Because if there were, if there were another point a max distance away from b, then the associated line segment must intersect both of these two other line segments. Since remember, any max distance line segments with different endpoints must intersect. Since these are both max distance line segments you see in orange, then a third must intersect both. That's not possible since B is in the middle, and the angle is less than or equal to 60 degrees. The one exception would be, for example, the line segment BC, since it shares an endpoint with XC. I didn't acknowledge that really. But that still can't be a max distance pair since it doesn't cross AX. Thus, the only point that can be a max distance away from B is X, as already shown here. So remember all those max distance line segments we assumed existed? We now know none of them have B as an endpoint besides the one we've been looking at. So if we remove point B, then we only remove one max distance line segment, and now we have four points in total with five max distance line segments. But this is a contradiction because we assumed the five points originally was the minimum value of n for which our original statement was false. But we just found one smaller, where n is four. Another way to think about this is if the max distance pairs exceed the number of points for some value of n, counter to our original assumption, like we assumed with five points having six pairs, then there must be a counterexample with n minus one points due to what we just saw. You can definitely go down by one. And by applying that same logic, you can continue to go down over and over to the case of n equals 3. But we already saw that that was trivially true with no counterexample. You can't have four or more pairs at all with just three points. So we reach a contradiction, and the proof is done. If you have n points in a plane, the number of pairs that are a max distance away is going to be the same or less than that value of n. And for more math puzzles along with problem solving tips and practice, I highly recommend checking out Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM topics interactively. They have over 70 courses ranging from geometry and algebra fundamentals, to advanced differential equations, to contest math where you're going to find some math competition problems, along with their clever solutions and tips to utilize these strategies. What I love about Brilliant is how truly interactive everything is. Courses come with constant practice problems along with intuitive visuals that give you a much deeper understanding of even the more advanced topics. So you don't just learn the necessary equations, but you learn how to apply the concepts to the world around you. And with this platform, you can learn at your own pace, on the go, and there's always something new to explore no matter what your level of education. So to get started right now, go to brilliant.org slash zackstar or click the link below and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. And with that, going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon and I'll see you guys in the next video.